Josh, kind of a demanding match for you guys in Seattle, played down man 75 minutes. What kind of gritty performance did you see from everyone on Saturday? Um, yeah, it's never easy going down like that. Um, but I don't know. To me, what kind of uh, set the tone, I feel like, was as soon as it happened, I was looking around. People was, you know, telling everybody to calm down. I was telling people to calm down. Um, Rico, Will, uh, you know, so I think for how many veterans we had on the field at the time, um, I think that helped us a lot and established us. Um, you know, to not only you know get too panicked, but to just kind of relax and um, you, you know we knew I, that you know you know no matter what we'd get our chances. So you know I think if you guys watched the game, we still had some some great buildups. Um, you know, and I think we had the best chances of the game. Um, so in times like that, especially in a stadium like that, you know, a, a, a daunting place. I think um, it's always great to have you know kind of veteran leadership to just calm everybody's nerves and make sure you know things are going to be all right and you and will put out tweets after the like, encouraging tweets after the game what was it that kind of motivated you to to put that out there <laughs> um i don't really know it's a tough question um i would say just the collective effort you know during that time it's always hard you know it's a struggle when you're out there with 10 guys and you know it's a little warmer than everybody expected on turf um so I think just the collective effort, uh, you know, inspired me. Um, uh, but I didn't even know Will put one out until uh, after. So uh, it wasn't like we were bouncing ideas off each other. It's just kind of, uh, you know, it's individual things. In confidence-wise, what can that do for a team when you guys make it 75 minutes and when you really deny them chances pretty much until the last 20 or so minutes of the game? Yeah, I think defensively, you know, is one thing that we've been kind of lacking so far. Um, just that togetherness, you know, I think a game like this can completely turn that around. Uh, you know, there's belief inside the team now that, you know, no matter what happens, we can come together collectively, whether it's four in the back, whether it's five in the back, and shut a team down with a lot of, uh, you know, weapons on the field. Um, so I think, uh, you know, just that in general, that, uh, I don't know, was it 80 minutes, 75 minutes, something like that, yeah. that we were together, that, you know, battling like that, I think that's huge for a locker room. And, you know, when you, when you look at this stage at this point in the year, you, I think you guys are best in the Eastern Conference in terms of goals allowed per game. When you look at where you guys are right now to this point last year, what would you say is the, the biggest difference? Did you say this year we're, we have the least amount of goals? Yeah, yeah. per game. Yeah. Um, I think just having the guys together for another year. You know, when you get a group of guys like Lalas was new last year, Alex was new last year, um, was Jonah's first year. Um, so when you get guys together like that for a full year and you, you allow them to kind of mesh, you know, mold together and bond, um, I think that's a, you know, it makes a world of difference, especially in a, you know, a difficult system like ours. You know, we push so many numbers forward that if you're not organized, if guys don't necessarily know, you know, what to do a step or two in the wrong direction can, you know, can cost right. you a goal. So I think that's a huge difference. I don't know how much you guys have worked on the three, five in the back, but obviously Alex has been gone, so he hasn't been here a ton. Right. Just to, to use that again and, and to use it effectively, how does that kind of help you give you another option going forward this year? Yeah, that's a great thing to see. Um, you, you know, with our system, a lot of teams plan against us. You know, so if they have a full week to plan, we can always throw that in there and kind of, you know, throw a wrench in at things. But um, I think with, you know, with Alex coming in there like that, even though he's been gone for, you know, a good part of this year, I think the communication, his, his you know, with us, his familiarity with us. Um, and, you know, he's just a better soccer player than last year. You know, I think with each year that goes on, you, you know, you develop as a player, you develop, your mind develops, you know, you get comfortable with the guys around you. So, um, you know, for him, I thought it was a great performance. It was awesome to see. You know, it was awesome to have him back on the field. Um, you know, as well as Lawless. You know, I think everybody, you got Milton, you got Hector, you know, all those guys. So, you know, to have, a, you know, to have enough guys like that to, uh, you know, be able to play four in the back or five in the back, I think is huge for us going forward. You mentioned how much confidence you got from facing such a big challenge. Now you go from warm environment, not the most yielding of all playing services, to playing down a man so long. To a quick turnaround. Right. That's another big challenge coming up for you guys. How are you anticipating you're going to deal with that? Yeah, it's tough going cross country like that, you know, especially yeah, in the environment. Yeah, I forgot the yeah, West Coast. Yeah, yeah, the flight. Um, but we're at home. You know, we're most comfortable at home. Uh, we're very confident in how we play at home. Um, you know, we're playing against a familiar foe in, in Philly that we've already seen this year. So um, I think, you know, I say this a lot pretty much every time I'm, I'm in one of these scrums, but it's. We're totally confident in our system and, and our style of play. Um, so, uh, you know, coming home is actually, you know, we're thankful to be coming home. We could have went there and then gone somewhere else. So, you know, to be able to have a, a packed week like this and to get that trip out of the way, you know, I think the rest of the week going forward is, you know, we're excited. And it's just going to test our depth. You know, this is where 
guys who necessarily haven't seen much action this year could you know potentially be thrown into the limelight. So uh, you know I'll be happy for them when they you know they get the chance and hopefully they're ready. You just got your third shot out of the season over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> third shot out of the, the season um, on Saturday. The second one this season was against Philadelphia. Do you feel confident in the way that you guys know how to defend them specifically? Um, we've seen them a lot. Uh, we've played against a lot of their guys numerous times. So um, I think we're confident in that. I would say we're confident. You know, we're not overconfident. You still got to respect your opponent. Mm -hmm. you know, we have no idea what they're capable of. Um, you know, at any given moment, you know, it's part of the game. You know, we could be completely familiar with someone they throw, and you know, all of a sudden they got a new player, someone else that we haven't seen before it comes in. So um, there's always that respect factor. But you know, like I said, you know, to her, we're we're only worried about us, really. You know, we're completely confident in what we're doing. So that's you know, at the end of the day, that's all we're worried about. Thanks, Josh. Yep. Thank Appreciate it. Go Cavs.